What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Modern Dating here. Let's get straight into it. Uh, this is my apartment after I came back home from Vegas. My husband left. Yeah, and took everything else. Good for him. Can your girlfriend go on girls' trips? No, no way. Why is your girlfriend got to go on trips alone? Why do men assume that girls who go to Marbella are going there to just... After a fun because here's why because birds of a feather flock together if you're going out there and doing 304 activities with your 304 friends more than likely you're gonna act like a 304 that's not what we want why should you as a woman in a relationship ever need to go on a girl's trip don't worry I wait I'll wait exactly you should never want to go on a girl's trip you know what you should want to do you should want to go on a family vacation you should want to go hang out with your man you should want to go create memories with the family that you are creating, right? Why would you want to go out there and do 304 things with your 304 friends? What? Your single friends? You want to go hang out with them? It's the amoeba effect. You're successful and you are the most alike, the top five people you spend the most time with. If your girl's in a relationship and all her friends are single, what's the likeliness that these single friends are going to influence her to break up with you? Um, it's probably going to happen, King. As we've seen in previous episodes, these women will watch social media and get influenced. Think about how much um, influence their friends have on them. It's insane. It's absolutely insane why you would ever let your girl go on a girl's trip. Fun girl's trip. She came home to an empty house. She definitely didn't know she had a man of his word by her side. And mm -hmm. this is why she was surprised when she realized he left and took everything. Good. Smart man. She didn't believe he would have the courage to do it. Can your girlfriend go on girls' trips? No way. Why is your girlfriend gotta go on trips alone? But it also depends on where it is. Like, if it's in Miami, <laughs> absolutely not. Yeah, what do you think they're doing in Miami, dude? Come on. Like some farm in Italy, and she's got like four of her close friends' shirt. You're going to like Miami, Punta Cana. That's where hoes go. I'm good. Not my girl. Can you go on boys' trips? Of course. Yeah, you're not wrong about Miami. Y'all get out there and forget all morals and lose control. For real, these women go out to Miami. The thought still comes before the question. We're done. Period. Fa the facts. Like, why are you? Why do you need to go on, go to Miami? Date someone you can trust, or simply do not date them. I mean, you got a point. I feel him. My girl go to Miami. She might as well take everything from the crib with her. I, if you know, you know. Hey, she belongs to the streets, man. At this point. She belongs. Well, to guess the what? Streets. If your partner wants to cheat, they're gonna cheat. That doesn't matter if they're in Miami or your small town. I mean, you got a point. You really do got a point. The thing is, is a woman shouldn't want to go out. She wouldn't shouldn't want to go out and go to these trips. You know what I mean? That's a red flag in itself. Trip has its reputation, and this is why most guys are hesitant having their wives being part of such activity. This is a valid concern, as there are so many stories of infidelity that gave us a picture of what usually goes down on those trips, especially when they are traveling with their single friends. Mm -hmm. What man would want his partner to go on that trip when we have many videos of women claiming they go there for that specific purpose? The best part of this type of video was the comment section, which was full of women calling Bro, I knew a girl, I, I had a fling in college. I knew a chick where she wanted to go to Germany, and she had a chance to go to Germany. Little did I know, the reason she wanted to go to Germany is because she knew a dude there and then got her back blown out while she was in Germany for a week and then came back. Now, I wasn't taking her serious. We weren't dating. It was casual. I was seeing other women at the time. But at the time, I was like, why did you want to go to Germany? She's like, well, I have a friend there, a girlfriend there. She's really cool. She got a new place. She said I could go stay with her. I was like, all right, awesome. And then like a year later, after I'm like, you know, I mean, we were never dating. But after a year later, like I was talking to her about her Germany trip and, you know, I was really close with her at the time. I could ask her like, so what did you do? She's like, oh, I went out there to see a guy. I was like, you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> she just straight up. She belongs to the street. She went out there to get her back rearranged and she lied about it to me. It's just so like, dude, you can't trust them. It's crazy to me. This is why girls trips and I need to go see my friend out here. Nah. This guy insecure as they believe he should trust his women no matter what. But they should know it's not a matter of whether he trusts his partner or not. Instead, it's all about avoiding activities that already have a bad reputation. Next, we have a woman who was surprised after finding her house completely empty when she returned from a girl's trip. She thought he was playing when he told her that she wouldn't find him there if she insisted on going on that trip. That's what she gets. Uh, this is my apartment after I came back home from Vegas. Damn. I had a convention in Vegas. Um, I was gone the 2nd through the 7th 
came home to my apartment. Uh, conventions, I don't know what convention you're doing for five days. You can usually get out of there in a couple days. Completely wiped out. My husband left. He left me my jewelry here in this room here. Um, what a king. Yeah, and took everything else, including <laughs> some items that belonged to Sully. me. He also took the washer and dryer out of here. I also took the bed, this man's took everything out of here, cut off the internet service so I can no longer work from home. And then clear out the closet here, which I'm gonna like. Clear out the closet here and then for the wedding dress in here. I'll leave that right there for him. This ain't the first time she went- <laughs> He waxed eloquent. <laughs> Uh, the first time she went against his wishes and did what she wanted to, the brother got fed up and bounced. What a, hey, that's a king right there. Absolute king. Her husband wasn't playing. Salute to him for not tolerating her BS. That's what I'm saying. You work from home, but you need to go to a five-day convention in Vegas, girl. Get out of here. He's been planning his escape strategy and cashed in on the opportune moment. He's the MVP for real. Modern women, I want to be treated like a queen and find me a good man to be my husband at the same time. I don't want to, I, I want to go do hot girl summer trips, still hang out with my male friends and act like I'm single on social media, bro. That is facts. They're, they want their cake. They want to eat it too but the thing is you can't have it and men are fed up with it and we're going our own way man we're going our own way and it fools a lot of modern women and this is why they end up recording videos like this based on her video it seems like she thought it was perfectly fine to go on a girl's trip even though her partner wasn't happy about it she probably thought he wouldn't keep his word but she was completely wrong taking the end i gotta say in five days he did all of that Man, that's this man was hustling. You know how hard it is to move all that stuff out by yourself in five days? It's not easy, bro. It's not easy at all. Insulting anyone. I'm so excited for this holiday. Honestly, I can't wait to drink, have fun, see loads of boys. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I didn't even speak to him. It's not my fault he followed me on Instagram. Don't forget your sun cream, ladies, okay? Don't worry, I'll hold on to the cake. And I booked dinner for seven, is that all right? Hey guys, so you're all asking where my bikini's from. It's actually from Jack Wills. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm so lovely. I don't know why people in relationships still want to live as if they are single. They don't want to avoid single people's activity even when their partner that, that, I agree. Like, what? In what world? Loki, place. I need my co star. Oh, you don't. Wow. He just left. <laughs> He don't care no more. Uh, my dog's name is Loki, by the way, and he's feeling much better. Uh, shout out to you guys. Somebody in the comments was like, is he feeling better? Yes, he's, he's, he feels great. We took him to PetSmart. He got a nice bath. He looks great now. But I just wanted a co-star. That's all I wanted. But I think he's sick of hearing me talk. Um, God, what was I going to say? Oh, he was talking about the girls' trips. This is what I don't get. It's like, why do you have the urge to want to go on a girls' trip? You should have the urge to want to go out there and create members with the person you're with. Right? Like, me and Cass now, we're done. I don't even have single friends. If you're single, you're not in my friend group. It's really that simple. I'm only friends with people that are in relationships because it just doesn't make sense. Like, our lives, we move as a couple. So, like, why would I ever want to go hang out with somebody that's single? It just doesn't make sense. All my close friends, all my homies have girls. If they're not, if they're not married, they have a girlfriend. Or they're in a relationship. I just can't, I can't relate to a guy that's single. I just can't. And it's going to get to a point where I probably can't relate to anybody that doesn't have kids. You know what I mean? It's like, I just don't have... I don't have the mental fortitude to go to go hang out with a single guy. Now, me and my guys will go. We do like a trip every year. We don't do a trip, but like we hang out every year. It's like a tradition where we just kick it and we just do our guys thing. It's like a bachelor, like a mini bachelor party every year for a couple of days, which if you don't do that, I suggest doing that. You need to have your wolf pack. You need to have your guys. And it's like four of us. We'll get an Airbnb and we'll just hang out. And we do that every year around Christmas time because everybody's got to go back home for the holidays and we're all from the same place. Um, but I highly suggest you do that, man. It is so good and it allows you to release and just talk about good memories and just reconnect. Quickest way to become single. She has a man who misses her and wants to keep a good line of communication while she is on a girl's trip. But she finds it annoying to the point of asking to be left alone. Some people don't value what they have until they lose it. Mm -hmm. I'm on a girl's trip and my husband calls me every hour uh yeah i let the dogs out that's good baby yeah uh well, here's the thing us men usually our best friends turn into our wives our partners whereas ladies y'all are never best friends with us your best friend is still patricia or naomi or whatever her name is that's what you guys do and the thing is i saw a video the other day on um, twitter where it was talking about like if you're if you if it was uh what was it 
if something was going to happen and you had to die or your husband had to die, who would you pick? Would you would you say, take me and, and leave my wife? All the women were like, nah, kill my husband. And all the men were like, nah, take me. It's just we have an undying loyalty to you, like an unconditional loyalty, and women just do not to men. Uh, Hadley peed and hoop. Oh, that's good, baby. Talk to you in a little bit. Okay, love you. Okay, bye, baby. See, this stu that's, that stuff is cute. This stuff is cute, and you're going to take this for granted one day, and then this man's not going to be around you, and he's going to go do it with somebody else that actually appreciates it. These times again. Hey, I'm ordering dinner. That's good, baby. Every time. I just keep amping him. That's good, baby. Leave me alone, baby. Don't be insecure. Let your girl have her girl's time. Make a public video shaming him. He's probably nervous for a reason about your girl trip. Exactly. Her husband needs to run. The level of disrespect is staggering. Bro, if your girl is comfortable enough to get online and straight shame you and make fun of you, bro, she... She belongs to the street. You better get out there because you looking real... Stupid. He just wants to hear your voice and talk to you. I guess he chose the wrong girl. Facts. Do you think they are still together after this video has been circulating for months? I hope not. This is a man who most women claim they want and she was lucky enough to have him by her side. Mm -hmm. But instead of appreciating all the care and attention, she decided to make fun of him. I bet she would also complain if he didn't check on her. Hopefully he sees this video. It's just for reference. He needs to know the level of respect she has for him, and this video says it all. Bro, she ain't got no respect for this instead man. Instead of having this reaction, she should be grateful for having someone who clearly didn't want her to go, but still agreed with it to make her happy. She See, and this is why I always say, what's more secure, what's more insecure? Is it more secure to set a boundary with a woman, or is it more insecure to set a boundary with a woman? Personally, I think it's more secure because you're setting a boundary in the fear, now I guess not the fear, but in the likeliness that she may not accept this boundary and leave. I think that's more secure than saying, baby, do whatever you want, baby, it's okay. Yeah, go on girls trips. Yeah, yeah, go have fun with Patricia and Naomi. Go do your thing, baby. Go let men hit on you. No. Like, I, I, know, I know how men are, especially in these big vacation cities. They're going to hit on you even if you got a ring on your finger. They don't care. They don't care. They'll approach you and be like, is that ring just for show? Huh? They, like, men do not care. They, they really don't. Men are out there looking to get what they can get. So, let me know in the comments. What do you think is more secure? Setting a boundary with a woman and risking losing her? Or not setting a boundary with a woman and just being like, do whatever you want, baby. I don't want to lose you. I don't want. To, I don't want anything to happen. You just. You just go have fun. Don't worry about it. What's more secure, setting the boundary or not setting the boundary? Personally, I think setting that boundary is way more secure than a guy saying, yeah, go do whatever you want, baby. I just don't want to lose you. You just go have fun. Don't. No. Nah, F all that. Mm -mm, no. 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 Like. Like I say when. With Cass, I'm like, you're my responsibility now, and then the reason you take my last name is because you're my property. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what it is. It used to be a daddy's property, now it's mine, right? There's there's no reason I, you're going to take my last name unless I have some ownership over that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and I feel like most modern women seem to forget that. At least have some consideration. It was interesting when I saw a lot of comments from guys calling him insecure and saying he should leave his wife alone. I understand where they are coming from, but at the same time, we have to recognize this is his way of expressing how much he misses her, and there is nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Next, we have a delusional modern woman who believes men should pay her because she is beautiful. <laughs> These channels with the caricatures and stuff, is like everybody is afraid to show their face. <laughs> Somebody commented the other day, like, Levi, I really appreciate you because it seems like everybody's just hiding behind these cartoons. I'm like, I don't know. It's just funny to me. As a lady, okay, go to your 24 place. hours after go. a man takes your number, you should bill him to know he's capable or else you're wasting your time. Are you bill him because you're hungry? No, I'm not hungry because it's, I'm beautiful. You saw me with a good so you I should pay you for being beautiful. Exactly. You should pay me every day for being beautiful. It's not easy to be beautiful. Do you know how much skincare costs? No, 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 no. You're, the thing is, women, you're born with your value. Men, we have to create our value. Women are innately born with their beauty, your bone structure, the way you look. You're born with that, right? You come out the womb that you might have been an awkward teenager, but by the time you're in your 20s, you figured it out and you can prep yourself and, you know, get braids or do whatever and do your makeup. Like that stuff is just a little bit of an addition to what you already have, your, your physical aesthetic, right? Your face, your bone structure. As men, we could be really good looking, but if we don't have enough money, we have no value. And so what's harder to gain? Beauty 
or resources? Let me know in the comments. What do you think is harder, beauty or resources? Beauty is given to you, in my opinion. It's given to you from birth. It's just you got to know how to finesse it and work it. But almost almost every girl can be pretty as long as she knows how to wear the nice wear nice clothes, maybe do her makeup a little bit, have nails. You know, like women can make it up a little bit and make make up for the deficit of aesthetic that they may have just naturally, right? But as men, we don't. Ha the only makeup we have is a beard and a haircut. That's it. We don't wear makeup. We don't do any of this stuff. And so our value is correlated to how much money we have and how much we can provide and protect. You know what I mean? So if we're not in good shape and we don't have a lot of money, women already see us as a lower value. So it's like it's much harder as a man to gain value than it is as a woman. A woman is born with hers. A man has to create his. So much different. Of course. Well, why should I pay you for being big? That's to me is a ratchet thinking. It is. Your mama, okay, why, why am I, I'm, I'm sorry. For you is a ratchet thinking. For me is a broke man thinking. For you, for, for, to think that you cannot pay me for being beautiful, that's a broke man's thing. I promise you, she is single. Of course she is. Beautiful girls don't get to sit there and try to convince men how beautiful they are. If she had pretty privilege, she wouldn't even be sitting there. And, and this is another thing, man. It's like. Most of these women in the West and the UK, y'all aren't as bad as you think you are. Go to Romania. Go to Scandinavia. Go to Russia. These women walking up and down the street are straight up Maxim Model 10s. There's so many of them because the Vikings went through and pillaged everything and only kept the hot ones, right? And the agreeable ones. But y'all women really do be walking around here like y'all are straight 10 out of 10s when y'all are beat at best. Shots fired! Shots fired! Beat it best. You are not. You are not her. The delusion in this generation is embarrassing. It truly is. A lot of men let this behavior slide and enable it. True. Sympodemic. Even having an argument with her about her statement is too much validation. Yeah, for real. But at this point, I don't fully blame her for it because based on her conviction, she had many simps giving her money for nothing mm -hmm. to the point she now believes we are supposed to give her money just because of her existence. And this is why simps are mostly to blame for it. If they weren't sending her money for no reason, mm -hmm. she would never develop this mindset. But she will quickly come back to reality once... Only fans was the birth of the simpidemic. Can you imagine? Like, I want you to think right now. It's you and your grandfather in a room. And you, you know the status of the dating market with your grandfather, right? Your grandmother was probably quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, nurturing, and natural... You know what I mean? Your your father, your grandfather probably, you know, had integrity. He was probably keen, impervious, noble, and groomed. He took care of himself. He was probably in good shape. He made good money, had a good job. He was a good man, right? But then your grandpa's like, well, how are the women nowadays? Has it changed much? And you're like, so now, grandpa, um, it's a simp -edemic. He's like, what's a simp? Uh, it's basically men that idolize women that usually don't even sleep with them or have any chance with them. Um, we've... Uh, marketized like or uh, we've commercialized um, cor the corn industry so now every girl that has a link in her bio on social media and he'd be like what's social media it's basically a website that showcases their lifestyle um, so they can put up a link on their website and men will pay just to look at pictures of them your grandpa would be like what that makes absolutely no sense. This sounds absolutely ridiculous. Men are paying just to see pictures of them? I'm like, yes, they are paying to see pictures of them, and they're paying a lot of money to see pictures and videos. They never meet these women. They never take them out on a date. They never get to go hang out with them. They simply have an internet relationship with them. This is why, this is my prediction. In the next five to 10 years, I bet we see a huge influx of AI girlfriends where men are ditching traditional Western women and they're just gonna go have that companionship with an AI girlfriend because the AI girlfriend will be for them, always listen to them, be empathetic, be nurturing, be uplifting. They'll be all of that and then they won't get the physicality. So what they'll do then if they need the physicality is they'll get a passport and they'll go to another country. It's really not that expensive. You could make like, 50 or I, I would I would even be willing to say you could make like 40 to 60 K per year get a passport go over to the Philippines as long as you work work remote you may have to work nights that may be the issue but you could still work nights you could go out there and make your US salary living in the Philippines right get a work visa or something like that or Bali or something like that and you could get you a submissive woman and live like a king for 40 to 60 K a year. 
I saw an article the other day that talked about the standard of living in the Philippines, Bali, like Indonesia and these places. Yeah, it, it would be a bummer that you would have to live there. But the thing is, the women are much higher quality, right? They're submissive. They're fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no kids. They're quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, nurturing, nat nurturing, nat natural and nurturing. You could go out there and get you one and you could live in a villa for like maybe a thousand bucks a month and have a private chef, have somebody doing your laundry, have access to like good health care for a thousand bucks a month. And you're more than likely you're making maybe three to four K a month. You know what I'm saying? Like the juice is worth the squeeze out there here. Western women have just lost their way. And I'm hoping in the next five to 10 years they learn, but it's looking like we're on a steep downhill slide of women getting worse. And so marriage is not even going to be a thing. Like David's Bridal, shutting down tons of stores. All these, all these bridal stores are shutting down because men have woken up and we're like, ah, oh, these modern women aren't worth it. They're not worth marrying. Appreciate you guys. We just hit 19K. Give yourselves a pat on the back. I can't. My suit's a little too tight. But I really do appreciate you guys, man. 20K around the corner. I bet we can hit 20,000 uh, subscribers by the end of this month. I really do appreciate you guys. And shout out to my amazing co-star, Loki. That's my guy right there. That's my boy right there. Um, but no, I really do appreciate you guys, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.